Welcome back to 21 Minute Reads with me, Maya D. This is kind of like my virtual book club because in these five minute or so videos, I share with you my takeaways from my current reading. Right now, that is Dance on the Historically Black College Campus. As a part of the Read 21 and 21 Challenge, I'm reading 21 minutes per day, every day as an action of self-love, as an investment into myself, and as a way of providing myself with some consistency in an ever-changing world. Hoping that you will join me along in this journey by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and dropping some comments down in that comment section so that it's an actual book club with discussion, right? Having in mind that while I have several decades of experience as an educator, curriculum writer, mentor, dancer, I am not the know-all be-all for this book. I'm simply providing a space for dialogue. Well. This week I read pages, let me look at my notes, 32 through 64. And here are my three takeaways. Takeaway number one is 1935. 1935 is the year that Hampton Institute's creative dance group began to tour and to perform off campus. At this point, it was under the direction of Charles H. Williams. The author notes that what was remarkable about the repertoire of the company was its inclusion of black vernacular dance and the inclusion of social commentary. So if you've been following us along in this process, we have talked about social commentary before. As noted in uh, Hot Feet and Social Change, sometimes when a group of performers are moving outside of their place of origin, meaning their local place of origin or outside of their culture, that social commentary is dropped or can be dropped. So it's nice to see that that social commentary is continuing or continued in this process because sometimes we gotta talk about the things if we want change. And I'm pretty sure that a HBCU in 1935 had a whole lot to talk about and to uh, share with other parts of the US about things that were going on and a need for change. Yeah, I feel like if you have some questions and you need me to explain that more, just go ahead and write them in the comments down there. Takeaway number two is processional. So I'm going to read this quote. In the homecoming coronation at GSCU, the lengthy opening processional begins with the audience already in place on both sides of the basketball gymnasium so they can surround and loudly cheer each participant entering the ceremony as in ring shout. While I've experienced this type of homecoming um, at my, uh, my high school and other HBCUs, I think what stands out to me um, is that this is a clear testament of how HBCUs consistently and organically include ideas, rituals, and concepts of the African diaspora in its everyday workings rather than a side, right? It's an additional thing. No, it's organically interwoven into the natural praxis, practice and uh, experiences of the campus. The author goes on to explain how the call and response is used. And I, I'm pretty sure that we also see those other uh, concepts of African diasporic movement, such as the virtuosity and the correct entrance and exit. Takeaway number three is Mary D. Biddle. Johnson C. Smith, which I referred to earlier as, as GCSU, Johnson C. Smith, was briefly named Biddle Memorial Institute from 1867 to 1876 to honor the donor, Mary D. Biddle. I have to do my homework. You can help me with that by commenting down there. But there's only one other HBCU that I know of, and that is Baltimore, Maryland's Coppin State University that is named after a woman. And interesting enough, Coppin State University also has a relatively new dance program, um, and it's named after the African-American teaching educator pioneer, Fanny Jackson Coppin. So like I said, I have to do some homework, but feel free to, that if you already have done that homework to drop it down in the comments, I love to learn more. Also, check those details if you're interested in learning more about West African dance 
or if you're an artist that could use some support stepping into academia, use that link in those details. And in the meantime, stay blessed, spread a good word, and I'll see you again soon.